question would be, can you compel merger be, uh, with an unapproved lot and an approved lot? Cases in Maine indicate that you cannot. And they use cases from New Jersey. <clears throat> the forms of ownership are different. My mother, 92 Cummings Avenue is a life estate. And we have joint tenancy on, on uh, Oliver Avenue. You live next door to where she's No, I, I live designed. in my mother's house. She's living at uh, assisted living. Okay, so, but the lot, I guess I should say the lot next door is your lot? Yes, I bought that in 1975. Okay. And, and the information here is correct that uh, the, the other lot was conveyed in 1998, I believe, 94 or 98? Uh, yeah, that was for survivorship purposes. Okay. So I think the, I think the question that um, you, have, uh, you have some ownership in both, of, both lots. Well, I'm the remainder man on the uh, life estate. I don't have control over it. During, after she dies, right. then you would take, take right. a lot. Okay. Questions so, for the applicant? That's jointly owned right now? The house? The, the, that lot. The is vacant lot is jointly. jointly owned by both you and your mother? Yes. Well, I think, I think that's not exactly accurate, is it? Is it? Well, it's a joint tenancy. So you, the, you, basically have, you basically have control over, over both lots? No, I don't. If my mother wants to sell the house, she could. I, I can't sell it. I don't think that's true. I think the life tenancy allows her to stay there as long as she's alive. It doesn't give her control to sell the property. The house you're talking about? I don't see how I could sell it. It's, it's in her name. You, you can't sell it as long as she's alive. As long as she's alive, right, correct. Okay. Any other questions? <coughs> Obviously, we haven't had a lot of time to digest the <coughs> reasons why mm -hmm. we should grant his petition, but one comment you just made that the land it now is valued at $2,100, and it used to be 37400 Right. The two parcel numbers are different. The parcel on Oliver Avenue that ends in 029 is not the same as 002. So uh, are you saying what I'm reading here is maybe those two lots were combined no, the, uh, and, and equal <clears throat> 37,400? This is from the Eagles reevaluation in 2004. Okay. I, as you can see, I have no headlines here. Yeah. I, I mean, headings, I don't know yeah. what this is. I assume this is a parcel number. No, and I, when I go to your tax bill that you submitted to us tonight to compare apples and apples, that parcel number is different than on your tax bill. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. The, okay, the Oliver parcel is I02-007-029. Yep. That's for that's that's the vacant lot. Right. That's Same. that's valued at twenty one hundred dollars. And the other one that ends in zero zero two is uh, valued at 37400 So uh, for me, there's a disconnect, and I'm not blaming anybody for anything. There's no headings here. Yeah, if I'm that's sorry. that parcel number, yeah. I would make the assumption that those two lots combined were valued at 37000 plus. It's a 6,000 square foot lot. I know what we're talking about tonight. That lot's 6,000 square right. foot, but what I'm saying to you is your contention that it changed along the way, I'm disagreeing with. Because the parcel numbers are different. Yeah, but that, <clears throat> on this page number five? Yes. That's, that's not a parcel number. <coughs> what, well, what, number parcel is, copy. what number is that? I mean, I can, I can uh, submit to you the tax bills from the time that show that what it was valued at. <coughs> That's it. That's my only comment, okay. Mr. Chairman. Tom, um, did you have anything? No, I think I, I'm pretty clear as to what the lot is. It's about 6,000 square feet. And it sits on Oliver Avenue. Right. Mm -hmm. Sylvia, anything? No. Mm -hmm. 
There is a letter uh, submitted by uh, one of your neighbors, Jean Duclos. Um, <coughs> looks like 76 Cummings Avenue. Um, I've received the letter for the application from William Rupert requesting for a building appeal on the lot uh, in question. Uh, her contention, this is not a buildable lot. The area is extremely small, as is many of the specs uh, of land uh, behind other parcels of land. We do not need an area that would uh, definitely be taken over with other re requests that would follow if the zoning board were to allow this to go through. There are reasons or against there's overcrowding, invading one's privacy, setting a precedent, overloading on utilities, and so forth and so on. Uh, dated today, just for the record. Okay, the zoning changed in 1970. Right. I bought the lot in 1975. Uh, shouldn't they go back to who held the land when the zoning was changed? It was held in singular ownership. I'm not sure I'm following where you're going with that, so. Well, the, the <clears throat> for the merger doctrine to take effect, it would have to be held with adjacent land when the zoning was changed. It wasn't held with adjacent land. The two, two parcels in question are, are, are uh, adjacent. <clears throat> well, could, the Oliver lot touches a Cummings lot for a certain portion of the back boundary. They're, they're con they're, they abut each other. Mm -hmm. Uh, in that case remaining, the entire merger provision must be applicable only to continuous unimproved lots of record and common ownership. They did rule uh, back in 2003 that it was buildable. It wasn't until complaints from neighbors uh, that they changed their mind. I don't know. I've, I've gone through all this. It seems to me fairly clear where we are. Anybody else have any other questions for the applicant? <coughs> no. Okay, thank you, Mr. Rupert. Is there anyone else here on behalf of, on behalf of, is there anyone here opposed, has questions? Okay, well, we can start wherever. 